So the Grand Opera House was last restored in the mid-1970s and reopened in 1980. So it's been 40 years since the auditorium has seen any significant restoration at all. The building was perfect in terms of its architecture, slightly worn over 40 years and millions of theatre goers through the doors, but we wanted to restore the building as faithfully as we could and I think we've achieved that. My team and I were responsible for the entire conservation and restoration of the historic interior of the auditorium. We had a lot of help from say, conservation architects and uh, you know, a structural engineer to make sure that the building itself, particularly the elephant heads and all the structural elements were sound prior to us repairing smaller areas and damages and consolidating losses and indeed the painted areas. The process was really slow. We had a significant detachment of canvases, a lot of issues of, of um, varnish deterioration. So when customers come into the Grand Opera House, clearly the building itself, the auditorium, creates a sense of drama. When the extension was built in 2006, it somewhat lacked that for people entering the building. But today, when theatre goers come into the Grand Opera House, the first thing they'll be met with is a sweeping staircase which takes customers up through the various floors. The real drive was to breathe new life into all of the spaces, to bring it back to life, make it vivid and luscious again, but also to, to make the, the public spaces very dramatic, um, to give them a sense of luxury um, and to draw people in. So I think it was very important that there was that that hand, that flow between the two buildings, that it just wasn't this separate space that was treated in a completely different way. And we've made it beautiful and we've connected it to something of the past. Also going up through the various floors is, is a lot of interpretation. In other words, celebrating the history of the Grand Opera House. So on the ground floor, there's a whole array of stars who have appeared on the Grand Opera House stage. Everybody from Workman Wise through to Pavarotti through to Charlie Chaplin. Then on the floor above that, the Grand Circle level, we celebrate the work of the master and the architect of the Grand Opera House, Frank Matcham. One of the big attractions that we have is the opening of our Heritage Exhibition, which celebrates 125 years of the Grand Opera House. Our role within the project was as architects and conservation architects. Our brief was really focused on the restoration of the auditorium and the reimagining of this public area adjacent to it to try and bring the, the two elements together. So our initial concept was to insert this circular stair uh, within the space and to fill in some of the voids that there were in the floor at this level and that allowed us to create much more bar space and much more connectivity between the, the front of the building and, and the bar areas at the rear. We feel very privileged to have been part of the team to do this work. Uh, we're very proud of it as well and, and it really has been I suppose, a unique opportunity for us as well to be part of something that we hope will uh, be here for a long, long time and that people will get to enjoy for a long time. It's been 40 years since the last restoration project and I think in 40 years time when the next restoration project is due, hopefully people will look back and they will see that we have restored the auditorium very faithfully and also the extension work that was taking place in 2006. We have now aligned that and married it much more closely to the opulence of the auditorium itself. So I think today the Grand Opera House looks so opulent and there's no doubt that the jewel in Belfast Crown sparkles once again.